If you love the FX, probably this tips and trick will help you a lot in tracking. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my home. And I hope you have a great weekend, my friend. Okay, let's begin. As you may know me, I love this face, head VFX stuff, as you can see, which is awesome. And this face VFX stuff required many things to accomplish, both in 2D and 3D. One of these many things is tracking, camera object tracking, which is have many challenges. In this video, I will show you some awesome tips and tricks in camera tracking using Nuke 15, which probably will help you a lot in your project. On my Patreon, I will show you some technique in object tracking using Keen tools. This is an awesome tool, honestly. And we're going to see the refine uh, future. And we're going to see the Z axis issue. This is an annoying one. And we will uh, fix that. And we're going to see some... Uh, issue in 3D package, which is, for example, if, you, if we have a, he, a robotic head, we want the rotation, not the deformation. We're gonna achieve that in Houdini, for example. And we're gonna show you this awesome hidden uh, feature in Keen Tools, which call camera tracking or pin to the center head. This is an awesome one. And big shout out for these awesome people. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Let's begin. Okay, let's begin. You see, I have this uh, footage of myself and you see the camera is moving, but the subject is not moving. And I have this single steel frame for cleanup. You see, we have one frame and we're going to clean up uh, or match this uh, frame to the movement of the camera. You see, if we do that out of the box and let's suppose uh, we have this roto as an alpha. And we're going to perform a rough uh, cleaning. I want to show you the idea behind this uh, section. And let's promote that and let me invert that. And you see, for instance, we have this rough roto. You see that? And because we have this steel frame, which is not following the camera movement, we're going to have this bad issue. You see, on the right, we have a moving camera. But on the left, you see, we don't have any moving camera. This is the first issue we're gonna solve in 2D tracking for VFX. Okay, for solving that, uh, we need to simulate or extract the camera movement from the uh, actual footage. We're gonna use camera tracker. You see, because I'm lazy, we're gonna use this auto uh, feature of uh, this tracking and we're gonna, uh, ha we're gonna have a uh, enough sample or future and we're going to execute th that subject which is i have this alpha uh, roto you see this is rough alpha with a decent animation which is uh, uh, will define that in mask in here and you see we're gonna uh, uh, remove this one from the tracking so we're gonna track that fast forward and yeah you see that Okay, we tracked our uh, image and of course we're gonna solve that. We're gonna have this error because some of these tracks are uh, unsolved. So we're gonna delete the unsolved or rejected and we're gonna solve that again. You see, and boom, we solved that successfully. This is a quick tracking, not 100% accuracy. Okay, we're gonna create our camera and this is our decent movement of the camera you see that okay we're going to use that to match it with the steel frame so for that uh, uh, i have these awesome tips you see we have this point cloud generated uh, in uh, camera tracking you see that and that will help you to create uh, for instance a card or axis to uh, uh, to have a sense in 3d space you, you, we want to uh, uh, add our 
plane or card in 3D space. You see that? And this point cloud will help, uh, help us a lot uh, for the position. You see, this is a one uh, of many challenge in here, you see? Because we don't have any sense of the size or the distance of the position in uh, New York. And this technique will help uh, us a lot, you see that? And we're gonna use a scanline renderer and uh, the background. You see, we have this decent one. And you see, we're gonna match that. I am resizing the card or at the plane 3D geometry in here. And let me create constant, which is a black one in here. And the size will be 4K. And let me see, yeah, we have 4K in here. And we're gonna connect that in here. And you see, we have our scanline renderer. And we're gonna resize that, you see that? And I wanna match this uh, 3D object with the, the actual footage. And I wanna have a wipe, uh, wipe to compare these two in here, you see that? And quickly, I wanna match that. It, it will took a time for that. And I am fast forwarding in here. And you see that? You see, yeah, we have something in here. And you can match that in here. And yeah, this is good. And now let's see, you see we have our movement. You see that? That's awesome. And now uh, let's uh, have this uh, roto. We had that before, you see that? And let's uh, promote that. And we're gonna uh, multiply or layering that uh, with over operation in here, you see that? And let's play and see the movement are matched uh, or not, you see that? Okay, let's fast forward. This is a simple example to show you how you can uh, match these uh, two shots together. And yeah, you see that? It's awesome, you see, it's matched. And this is awesome one, you see? I love it. And this is a one technique with steel frame. And I, I uh, use this technique, for example, in this VFX shot, which is not complete yet. See, it's working. I add a blur and yeah, I match that. Another issue is animated plate. Let me show you what I mean by that. The previous one, we had this uh, scene, you see, the, the background was simple, not any movement, but in this shot, you see, we have a handheld camera in both, in both shots. You see, the cleaning one have one movement, and in this one, we have another movement. We're gonna match this movement together, you see? So, we have the moving car in here and the trees. Okay, for that, uh, we need to take the camera movement from the cleaning shot using this awesome plane tracker. And I will draw this rectangle shape in here, uh, in the corner, you see? And I will track that forward and backward. I will track this shot, you see? The goal is uh, to take the camera movement from the uh, sh uh, cleaning shot in here, you see that? And fast forward, we have the, that. And we have these awesome options to export in here. We can export tracker, corner pin relative, and we're gonna export this stabilized one, you see? We're gonna stabilize this shot. You see that? We don't have any movement. That's awesome, you see? Not anything in here. The camera is frozen. And you see, you can compare that with the original shot. That's without the uh, moving camera. And you can use this uh, this plate or this result in previous scenario. You see that? It will work out of the box. It will uh, uh, treat that as a steel frame. And this is awesome technique to match these two shots, you see? And I match that in this work, you see that? And it worked perfectly, honestly. I used this technique on this project, as you can see, and it worked perfectly. And that was uh, our tips and tricks in camera tracking in Neoc 15. On my Patreon, I will show you some awesome tips and tricks in 
object tracking using Kintools. If you're interested, I will see you there. Peace out.